In Cinema 4D, this type of stuff is always really easy. Recently with geometry nodes, it's also easy in Blender. So I'm going to basically take this cube, move it to the side, create a grid, which is a plane with a bunch of uh, subdivisions. And the goal here is to basically instance this cube onto each of these vertices. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new window right here, switch that to Geometry Node Editor, and with the plane selected, click New. And this will also in turn create a new modifier. And here I'm going to go to Point Instance, and I'm going to instance this cube. So now we have our grid of cubes. You'll notice if I reroute this, this node, it goes back to the plane and then back to the cube. I could even do something like join geometry. And then we could actually see both the plane and the cubes at the same time. Now, we also want to affect the scale of this, right? And we want to do it based on an empty object or some sort of fall off. So for, for just a minute, I'm going to just connect the, the plane or the normal geometry. We're going to create a empty and I'm going to choose a sphere. And the way we do this is uh, we basically need to vertex weight paint uh, a value from zero to one based on the distance. And Blender already has that uh, with a modifier called vertex weight proximity. I'm going to just move this up. And this will be our tar target object. We're checking the proximity. It also needs a vertex group. And for this, we just want all the vertices. So I'm going to have them all selected, click Assign. And I'm also going to just rename this. And if we go into the plane and we do vertex weight, I need to select all here. I need to select geometry. So you start to see we get this nice fall off that we can control um, in relation to where our empty is. So now back in our plane, I'm going to go to the modifier again. I have to click geometry node in order for this to pop back up. So now I'm going to do a point scale. And right now there's no factor. So these are attributes. These are things you actually have to, or properties you need to type out. So I could just click all and now I have um, exactly based on the weight pane or yeah, the weight painting or the proximity uh, weight pane on the plane. Um, if I want to be able to tweak this without like adjusting these values, if I want to do it in the geometry node editor, I can also add an attribute mix or sorry, color ramp and I want to have the in value to be all. And then here I can just type whatever I want. So I'm going to just put output. And then I'll say output here. And here's another way that I can actually adjust the values. Now, the one thing you may notice is the scale of this uh, empty does not affect the, the proximity or the fall off. So if I want to have the scale uh, actually represent where the fall off is, in the vertex weight proximity modifier, I'm gonna just add a driver by right clicking and pressing add driver. I'm gonna do it based on the empty and it'll be based on the empty scale. I'll just do average scale and I think I need to remove that expression. And now you'll see wherever the empty is, is where this is being affected. And again, I can just tweak these values. If let's say I want them to all be smaller or if I want the, the smallest point to be less small. Another way I could change the scale is by just going into here and editing the scale of this cube. Now lastly, I'll also show you how to translate this, these cubes if you want to do more than just scale. So 
I'm going to click uh, the plane again. And before the point instancing, we're going to want to do something with the translation here. So in order to do that, I'm going to do an attribute mix. And I'm going to choose to multiply. Uh, I'll multiply output. We can play around and see if we want to multiply output or all. And we're going to want to multiply it by a vector. Um, so, oh, and then we also need to put this result into something that will translate it. So I'm going to do point translate. And the translation will be, let's just say, vert. vert. So you'll see now that they're actually being adjusted uh, based on the position. So you can see it's being pressed in or the other cubes are being pressed up. And you can kind of get a sense for what you would do here. Uh, there's, there's things like vector math nodes and um, geometry nodes is still very new. So you will notice there's probably a few nodes that you wish existed that don't. Uh, but for now, it does allow us to do s things like this really simply, which is super nice. That's it for the tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.